name is Ryan Spencer-Reed. I'm a documentary photographer from Ludington, Michigan. My piece in our prize this year is Sudan, The Cost of Silence. When I went to school, I was pre-med, physics major, and uh, I always wanted to help people and kind of idealized that as, as the way I was going to do it. Uh, in college, a lot of things changed for me, and uh, I left school four years later um, firmly wanting to document critical social issues with a camera. I felt uh, that photography has uh, an incredible way of conveying uh, human emotion and human dignity. And when done well, it can create a document that can expand the sphere of influence of those without a voice. In a, in a place like Sudan, there's no access to, to um, a, a healthcare apparatus. So at the end of the day, um, you know, she, she wasn't able to, to get the medicine she needed to be treated. Um, I, uh, I feel like the image is powerful because of the raw emotion. And at the same time, it's very subtle. Um, it's just perhaps the curl of the lip or uh, that lets you know the, the level of pain that she's in. Ultimately, at the end of the day, I believe that images are, are worthless without an audience. So uh, that's one of the, I think, the most powerful things about our prize is it gives a, a truly broad-based audience um, to works of across all spectrum, all media, and um, you know, ultimately, for, for me, I've experienced that to be a very, very powerful opportunity. So uh, 2010 was the first year I participated in Art Prize. I brought a body of work that was new to me. Uh, I'd never shown it uh, publicly before. It was uh, called Detroit Forsaken. And um, I was mainly interested in just learning to talk about a new body of work. And uh, I certainly accomplished that. I never entered Art Prize with the expectation that the work would be received well by, by so many. Um, but it ended up in the top 50. Uh, I was truly humbled. And uh, it really gave me a lot of faith in um, you know, the, uh, the public's interest in these kinds of critical social issues. And it really encouraged me to come back this year and bring, uh, bring my body of work out of Sudan. I think it goes to show that people are truly starved for uh, a broader worldview that's uh, not anesthetized by the way that the media frames these I issues typically. And uh, so the, uh, the feedback has been overwhelmingly uh, positive and uh, supportive. People have been uh, expanding the sphere of influence of this work by telling their friends, by voting, and uh, that's, that's truly an, an amazing thing.